Let's talk about the tension force. We've actually hinted around about it, but let's um, put the flesh on the bones and so you can do these problems. Um, define the tension force and state the conditions under which it will transmit undiminished from one end of a rope to another, to the other. The tension force is the force exerted by a rope. Generally, the rope is attached by some eyelet or other mechanism, or you can tie it around a block. You're asking about how much force that rope is exerting on block. That's called the tension. And the force will transmit undiminished from the one end of of the rope to the other if the rope is massless. It also works for a, a string or a, um, generally for these kinds of things we, we consider the rope or the string to be inextensible, meaning you can't stretch it or compress it. But So normally that will be our assumption about the rope. But it will transmit undiminished from one end to the other if the rope is massless and any pulleys are massless and frictionless. So if this guy, um, well, in order to lift this weight, so we've got a weight right here, and it's, there's a tension force holding the weight up. Gravity's pulling it down on this weight. Tension's holding it up. And if I want to lift it on this guy here, then the question is how, much, how hard do I have to pull down on the, on the rope in order to lift it? And the answer is, if the rope is massless, and if the pulley is massless, and frictionless, then the force that I have to exert on this rope in order to lift the weight is equal to the tension of the rope in here. And that tension force transmits undiminished throughout the entire length of the rope. Well, if the, and you can understand, I mean, if, if, the, if the pulley had some friction in it, it was hard to move, then that's going to increase the amount of force that you're going to have to use here. If the rope is uh, massive, then that's going to add to the weight that's going to have to be carried, and um, depending on how much mass is on either side. That's how that works. Um, the tension on one side of the rope is equal to the tension. Uh, the magnitude of the tensions are the same on either end of the rope. So tension force, uh, for you dentists, orthodontists out there, it's going to be important. If you're trying to straighten this tooth, then then you're going to have this, this brace here is going to be pulling this way on this side, this way on that side, and then hopefully there will be a net force. Uh, when you add those two together, it will be a net force down to try and straighten that tooth. What holds the individual up? Well, we know what's pulling her down. This is, I think, a zip line. Her weight. pulling her down. What's holding her up? You're right. There's a tension force here and a tension force here. Two tension forces. Well, let's just call them T1 and T2. And when you balance all these forces out, you're going to have to get a situation uh, where, where there's enough tension force to hold her up to counterbalance gravity.